the great thing about the Heritage Project was just seeing the members of the group, was just seeing their eyes lighting up. It was as if history was coming alive in front of us. The stories we heard and were told at school even about the plantation need to be re-explored because they're not quite accurate. We were more or less taught that well, the Catholics are the Irish natives, not there, were sent to the hills and English coming into the room. It's a bit more complex than that. This is a way of engaging people with heritage that can be used in any aspect of our past that is still contested in the present. The project provided Corrie Mela with an opportunity to integrate heritage practice into our peace and reconciliation work and that's really been of value to us. We wanted the people who are participating in this project to engage with archaeological sites and with objects that have come from those archaeological sites in a physical way um, and to encourage them to interpret that evidence for themselves. The period of the Ulster Plantations uh, is a contested period, um, however there's more recent archaeological evidence um, that uh, tells a slightly different story to that that we've become used to. Um, so we find examples of cooperation and conflict um, between native Irish and, and planters, we find examples of exchanges of culture, uh, examples of segregated living space and shared living space. So the, the, the picture is much more complicated than we originally uh, thought and we wanted to introduce that complexity and share it with community groups um, across Northern Ireland. We're not trying to ram a message down somebody's throat that can make them uncomfortable. For me to get involved in the project was more or less to separate the math from reality. I mean, depending probably where you're from and that's part of the island, some of the stuff that you would hear isn't necessarily the way it was. The Goodland Plantation, now I'm Cory, born and bred. I never was even aware that that was there until I came on that project. So if I didn't know about it, who would be involved locally in historical projects, I don't think there's too many. So that, that was quite good to get that on the map. It was fascinating to us because it, it really meant, meant something to me in the, in the work here in Balnafai because it was about myths. I had been brought up that, you know, you know, the plantations were done to us, you know, they came, all these people from um, Scotland or England and they all plant, out, out planted all the native Irish or something, all them myths that you were taught when you were small. And I realised actually that wasn't the case, a lot of people actually um, were together. One of the exciting things about this project was it, it offered us a chance to examine the complexity of the past and to really interrogate that complexity. Any way that we, we can promote and connect with heritage, that's a useful thing because it encourages understanding and through understanding we can, under, or we can begin to start promoting um, the proper protection of the heritage resource. And heritage is such a fundamental part in the sustainable development of any society. It very much aligns with the core values of the work we do here in terms of developing and enabling communities. It connects culture in its widest sense to people's lives and gives meaning to that culture in the, in the sense of identity. In terms of uh, my own research interest in looking at the plantation period, late medieval Ireland, uh, and being committed all along to the belief that this is actually quite relevant in the present. And it is very much about, we are here to benefit the wider sections of society. We want to see our museums and our heritage used to support community dialogue for our peace and reconciliation. I loved it when I went to Colery and Town Hall because the, the curators, curators or whatever they are, um, showed us all that you got feeling the wee artefacts. And you know, some of them were actually quite like things we, we use today, which I thought was very strange. We want to give people that ability to get up close and personal with some of these objects, some of which are part of the archaeology of the landscape, others that have actually been in constant use ever since the plantation, and then just to show to people that you can actually access the story through other ways. I think the most important thing for me was realising how much archaeological evidence there is. Uh, in some cases, just a foot or two below the present ground level are, are, is evidence of quite a substantial uh, town and quite a substantial uh, garden.
I guess the primary benefit of the project has been that sense of connection that has been created between the university and communities. For too long archaeologists and many other people in universities have lived in that ivory tower. This project has really broken down that um, and you know we've gone out into the community and discussed the complexity of much of what we've done. Um, so that sense of connection has probably been the primary benefit. The second benefit has probably been that sense where you've really questioned the validity of your own research but you've also questioned the value of what you do and you've begun or you've begun to start thinking about the impact that your research has on the everyday lives of communities within Northern Ireland but also its relevance for the current political situation. Uh, it's very easy as an academic to get caught up only in academic understandings of these things. The questions that people bring make me think about the evidence differently. It's actually been really nice and beneficial to know that what I think is actually really interesting and important is actually interesting and important to other people. It brought home to us the importance of history because many of the people, for many of the people in the Shankill Road, uh, school was not their scene. It was just lovely to see people uh, real, realising that education uh, doesn't end when you leave school but goes on for the rest of your life. I think that everybody involved is, is, has been thoroughly convinced to, to a greater degree than they expected that this type of work is effective and really very valuable. I hope that people go away from the experience on this project and look at their own environment, their own landscape, their own heritage differently that we've raised an interest in finding out about their past for themselves, not relying on history teachers or um, leaders in the community or even politicians to tell them what our past is, that they want to investigate it for themselves. It would be um, incredibly interesting if the communities that we are involved in and the groups that we are involved in, if they could begin to start looking at the heritage resource within their own particular area and they become the primary advocates for heritage protection within their own communities. I, I'm a great believer and I great, have a great anticipation of studying history being a healing experience for our community. And I use the word community because I don't want to talk about two communities. I believe there's just one community.